Hey guys, thanks for checking out the hunt. Real quick, before we get into it, as a lot of you guys know, this is my first hunt outside of producing for Midwest Whitetail for the past 12 years. And this is definitely one of the best I've ever had. Um, I've kept this one a little bit more raw as well, a little more behind the scenes, no music, anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And one thing with regards to my content moving forward, I still haven't fully decided what I'm gonna do, uh, where I'm gonna put it, how I'm gonna you know, show my content. But at least in the short term, this is gonna be the best place to find it. Um, I have a few videos I'm excited about sharing, so I'll post them here. And um, you know, if you guys wanna follow along, feel free to subscribe, you know, comment and interact here as well. This will be an easier platform for me to stay on top of. I've had a lot of requests to uh, be more active on my own social media and uh, I'll definitely try my best there, but not, not making any promises. Uh, this will just be a better platform overall. So I appreciate all you guys' support and I hope you enjoy this hunt.
Well, it's been a pretty solid start to the morning here. Good activity this morning. Really good conditions. The wind calmed down. It's probably mid to upper 30s, so it's nice and cool. Walked in and hung the stand so slowly, almost painfully slowly this morning. Just because it was so quiet and I could actually hear bucks sparring not too far away. So I just went really slow, went up the tree, up and down a couple times with all my stuff. I just went so slow and obviously got in here clean. I had deer right on me and I could still hear bucks chasing does, grunting, sparring out here. So they're definitely active this morning. The spot I'm in, um, more or less in a bedding area or at least connected to a bedding area. The deer kind of bed all over in here, but it's uh, one of the more narrow spots where I can see through the trees and out to the main food plot that's in the middle of the farm. And deer been in and out of it throughout the sit so far, but a lot of them are just hanging out in the timber too. Some does came by browsing on acorns. They moved off and I think they're the ones that are getting harassed right now. So hopefully I see a good buck. I think the biggest I've seen is like a three-year-old. Just a real quick glimpse. But I'm after the big six by six that's in here. I don't have any pictures of them or recent pictures of them. But I'm just hoping with the amount of does in here and being late October that he's gotta spend some time in here finding find one of those first hot does. We'll see how the morning goes, it feels good.
That is unbelievable. That is one of the coolest encounters I've ever had. Man. Really one of my first hunts in here after this big six by six. And I like I said earlier, I haven't had hardly any pictures of them, but the conditions were so good that I wanted to at least make a sit in here. And probably 8.30, 8.45, he comes. He's coming right in on this trail that leads to that scrape at 30 yards. He stopped at 60 and bedded down. And I don't know if the GoPro caught it or not, but he watched four dozen ponds walk right underneath my tree stayed bedded the whole time but a couple minutes later another doe came and she was grunting the whole time and that got him on his feet and he came and aggressively worked that scrape and then came charging at me and I was yelling at him he was right below my tree wouldn't stop wouldn't stop finally circled back around and I had to it was a tight shot I had to squeeze it through there he stood and faced me for so long I didn't have a shot and then there were 
three or four more does coming. I was covered up. Whew, the joys of self-filming. <clears throat> Just crazy. He is a solid deer. Man, what a hunt. That is unbelievable. Alright, I just climbed down. One of the toughest things about hunting by yourself and self-filming is when you call buddies to come film the recovery, you gotta try to refrain from going and taking a look at them. So I'm, I'm killing some time, but I think one of the keys to this hunt was my entry and where I put the stand. This, this property is very tough to hunt. Uh, there's so many deer, there's so much thick cover that it's, the visibility is not good. But I picked this spot and I actually had the sticks hung. I didn't have a stand. I hung the stand this morning in the dark. But my entry was so clean through this little bottom right here. You come off this little roadway and pop in right, right to the stand. And like I said earlier, I've walked so slow this morning. Um, I did blow one deer over off the roadway, but like... If you only blow one on this property, you're doing pretty good. There's just so many of them. Um, but it just went really slow. Went up, hung the stand, came back down, got my, the rest of my gear and climbed up. But also this morning, the other key to this is I was able to blow the wind before the thermal started helping. Blow it back in this low spot where I walked in on. That's the other thing about this property is the wind swirls a lot. But this is one of the few spots I found that you can be pretty consistent with the north or northwest wind and then later in the morning I think my thermals were helping out because those does that walked right underneath me when he was bedded there you know they walked to the downwind side and they never flinched they kept on going I wasn't able to film them because uh, I had the camera on him but them not busting was was also a big key uh, that he just laid there and stayed until that other doe came came in making noise so pretty crazy let's see what it, see what it looks like uh, from where he was standing so like five yards from the tree right here this is where he was facing me and obviously couldn't get a shot there but then he went to went to lead this way Here's where he was standing when I was able to squeeze one through right here, about, about 10 or 12 yards. Pretty awesome. I, <clears throat> I thought I was about to chalk up another buck getting away to trying to self-film. Thankfully, he circled back in and was able to get a shot. Congrats, dude. You can get your workout dragging him out. <laughs> That's awesome. Unbelievable, man. Have you been He's up there? He's big. Uh -uh. Yeah. Did you see him fall? Yeah. Well, I saw him fall on camera. God. I couldn't see him from the tree stand, but. That is nuts. Like, he's big. <laughs> I think he's bigger than I thought. Is it the one he passed or not? Yeah. It is. So you can see where he was standing. The blood is tough in these pine needles. There's some there. I know the general spot he fell, but I don't know if my arrow ever came out. I might just walk that way. Here, here. There. There he is. See his white ear and the rack sticking up. I knew he didn't go very far at all. He looks big from this angle. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh my gosh. What a giant. Look at that thing. Oh. Look at that. That's a giant. <laughs> this side is awesome. The body on that thing. To think I question if he was a four year old is kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, he is a toad. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for coming out. I'm still kind of in disbelief of how the morning unfolded. I waited for Zach and Grant to come help with the recovery. Just uh, crazy. I mean, obviously I knew this deer was in here at some point, but I haven't had any recent pictures of him. Um, so I was just going in just based on the weather conditions this morning and just hoping to have a good hunt. This is, is still kind of hard to believe and we keep joking about it but it's a deer that I passed on October 3rd the morning of October 3rd and I had pictures of this deer I, I didn't and still to life me I can't figure out what deer it is from last year which is pretty rare and so I half was thinking maybe he's a four and a half year old uh, after that encounter I decided he was a five and a half year old I don't think there's really any doubt at this point but uh, it was just we we hopped in the blind to kill a couple does and uh, he was the first deer to walk by so it was dark but he stood there 24 yards for a long time and I elected just to not shoot him I was halfway waiting on another buck to show up at a different property that still hasn't so I'm thinking that deer's dead and I kind of decided you know, towards the latter part of October I'd move on and potentially retarget this buck and that's what I did this morning I didn't, of course, expect to see him, having not had any pictures of him lately, but he was the, I think he was the fourth buck I saw, and you saw how the, the hunt unfolded. Uh, just crazy to have him bed down and have that doe bring him right to the base of the tree, and always an adventure when you're self-filming, trying to get quality footage and keep the camera on him, and um, whilst, you know, operating as a hunter as well. And he almost got away. I was lucky he circled back in and I was able to squeeze a, sh a shot through and he didn't go far, but man, it's pretty sweet. I, uh, I haven't, this is probably the least I've hunted in an October in uh, I don't know how many years. Just have had a lot going on and um, helping other people too. I had a hunt last night. I, I took a very deserving gentleman out last night and we had a great hunt and killed a great buck. Uh, so that was high on my priority list. Uh, before I really started focusing on my own hunts, but to get it to get it done the following morning is pretty special So he's a heck of a deer. I Way bigger in person than on trail camera, which is typically the case, but man, he's a he's an impressive deer and I st Still again don't know which deer he is from last year um, but at this point it, it doesn't matter is a, a pretty awesome hunt and good first one Put down for the year uh, now I get to focus on my new farm and and try to target a buck there I still haven't had my first hunt on the new farm yet so that'll be fun to really focus on that place and hopefully put another one on the ground soon